after this, and you can see him figuring it out. You can see them piecing this together towards the B site with 40 seconds still up. And a smoke towards Decon, but they need to hold off double doors. Plopsky's about to swing it, and he's got himself a second attempt. A wide peek out to kill Zipix, and a 1v1 for Config to try and clutch. This is a hard-hitting Config, 16 and 8. And he gets around towards Control, silently coming down the staircase. Plopsky starting to piece this together, but no! Oh, the reaction! Snaps for the headshot! That's a Plopsky like we haven't seen. That is what they needed. To do it to config too in that fashion. That's beautiful work, man. What an un unbelievable half we've got so far. Man, and they what they did right here, they had one guy watching control door, the other one was smoke, but they opened both doors simultaneously. So you looked at decon and then control swung open, and that's how they put together that 2K. What you doing, Zipix? He's making sound. Oh, and his incendiary gets extinguished. Frag, it kind of baits them right in. Easy pick up for Zipix. He's got a third. Device puts him down and config trade straight away. Bomb in full possession. This is a round for Astralis, yes. no doubt. We're getting into insurmountable lead territory for himself. So maybe he'll look to play a little bit more actively. They're probably not worried about an op as well. Uh oh Whoa. timing. Yeah, I was seeing a bit too much there for Glaive. Kind of awkward too, falls without dropping the nade. Oh, but now they see the intention was to go lower. Oh, device point blank tech nine shot. Zipix gonna hear this rotation back towards the A site. Plopsky, oh, nice attempt with the, the jump. Bombs alone. Yep, and Zipix able to slide back around into lobby. Molotov on the feet of the two. Ooh, and he takes to the roof. Here comes Blame F, sweeping away bodies from the mini <laughs> okay. side. Three easy pickups and Astralis with eight map points. Yeah, that's a lot of good players. That's a lot of good players in a row to have to deal with, and they got caught off. And I think, it, like, you know, you get the lower kill, and then NIP are like, oh, okay, now it's clear we're going lower, and then they come back upstairs. And then Zipix is there in the hut. And the other value of being in the hut is you get that early audible if there is going to be a hasty rotation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's good, like, let, let the Viking yell out. Yeah. Now the hybrid's coming through. At least, honestly, the ops haven't been a problem for NIP. They've been doing a pretty good job of not getting off and also, you know, out offing the opper. Yeah. That was definitely... Oh! Combined, he actually has to move at an appropriate tempo. They're going to come back up the stairs. He has the sight. They don't have anybody in stairs to stop him. And Blame F may have just won this round. More and more momentum being gained by Blame. Plopsky's going to rotate up, but you can see him already walking, so he has to be cautious with this. If he clears Blame, Blame's on low HP, but Plopsky's caught right on the side of the staircase, and Astralis with the late B to A rotation, a 4v5, made possible by the fact that Blame F picks up a crucial kill versus Device in bathrooms, and then uses all of that as space towards A. And it's that, that's his brand. That's wow. his namesake right there to come through with the lurk. And yes, you can Slow tell rolling boulder. his style has changed already within this roster, in this new roster, but he still keeps some of his old identity. And the fact that he can use both makes him scarier than ever. Of course, a top six player coming out of 2020, uh, looking to put his mark on 2021. Yeah. There were no questions about his stats. It was and mostly about how they book the stairs and potentially move into an exec. Yes, sir. They've got two players over towards the monster. This is it. This is the one that matters. Ninjas in pajamas. It's oh. a solid hold from Plopsky. Another 3K coming in from the ninjas. He's on for the ace, and Lucky shuts it down, but he then falls, and we go to 11 seconds left. Config looking to attack from short, and there it is! The new Astralis debut with the 2-0 over ninjas. Oh, my God. What a win. They actually make it happen. We don't see Mirage because they don't need it. NIP took him to overtime with a five.